A domestic abuse survivor is struggling to go to her doctor's appointments during the mass mandate in Hamilton County. She's medically exempt from wearing a face covering due to her past experiences. Erin Cooper is live to tell us what options she may have. Erin. Hey Greg, well Lori says her PTSD is triggered by wearing a mask, but not by the clear face shields that she's been wearing instead. But the doctor she's been going to won't accept that as a substitute. But another doctor says they should reconsider. It's hard to talk about. On Saturday, Lori Perkins shared her struggles with PTSD from her past abusive relationships and how it's triggered by wearing masks. Even though she wears face shields and has a note from her doctor, several physicians have refused to see her in person. To me, it seems a face shield is an acceptable alternative. Vanderbilt University Medical Center's head infectious disease expert, Dr. David Aronoff, says it's important for people to understand that properly fitting face shields provide an adequate substitute for those who medically can't wear face masks. In offices that can accommodate people who are not suffering from symptoms of COVID-19, where there can be good space between people, um, that's where looking at alternatives to face coverings seems appropriate to me. And we can tip our step. It's okay. I'm safe. Thank you for trying to protect me, but I'm, I'm okay right now. Katrina Cabe saw Lori's story. Cabe says she survived an abusive marriage and was a victim of sexual exploitation. She acknowledges everyone is different, but she's found a way to wear masks and curb panic attacks. I can slip my fingers underneath and just go back and forth and give myself a little bit of fresh air. Katrina sends this message to Lori and all other survivors who are suffering. You have overcome so much already. Do not let a mask stand in your way of thriving because you don't have to be a victim or a survivor. You can thrive in this world, I promise you. Now, if you are medically exempt from wearing a mask, but you need medical attention, Dr. Aronoff suggests working with your doctor. See if you can use alternate entrances and exits, or see if you can be the first person that a doctor sees before any other patients come in. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Erin Cooper, News Channel 9. If you're someone you know is struggling with mental illness, PTSD, or even is struggling or experiencing abuse, here are some resources for you this afternoon. Take a good look at your screen here. The Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, National Suicide Prevention Hotline, and the National Hope Line Network are available to you 24-7, 365 days a year.